Hello everyone, my name is Mars and we are playing a new game today. Actually, it's not new. You already saw this game. As per always, I always like to play games years after they like released because you know, but this game is free, yeah. But you know, I've already seen this, <laughs> but I've only decided to play it now because I have already seen Doki Doki Geek Literature Club. I am aware of this game. I've seen playthroughs of it. I know what happens. But I am playing this because I have been, I have like I haven't seen this one part uh, on all these playthroughs and that is the Yuri scene. The Yuri scene. So I will play the first round probably or you know if I feel like it I will continue until the end to just Monica. I probably shouldn't have spoiled it if this is the first time you've been aware of Doki Doki. But whatever. Um yeah, so I'm going for Yuri because I like Yuri even though she has her issues. Yeah. We'll we'll work that out. <laughs> anyway, let's work this. Work this point. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's top. Yep, great start. Visual novels, man. To any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, that kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Used to travel. Tra what? Where is the travel word there? We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running anyway. Away, away. However, I just saw an idol in the front to cause walk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah! ah I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Marcipu, yeah, that's my name. Marcipu. <gasps> Maybe because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh! You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me! That's mean, Marcy Poo! <laughs> That's so funny. Well, but, uh, um, sorry. Well, people stare at you for acting weird and I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Marsipu, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm really. I. I that's why. <laughs> I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. You know what? Japanese schools are so lucky. They have. I mean, I guess American schools too. They have clubs, but. Philippine schools aren't like that. There's not much clubs in school. It's sad. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you joined a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. So you really likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just by getting on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. That's what, what I would spend my free time to. Uh-huh! I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I died at the thought of you becoming a need in a few years because you're not used to the real world. That's how I ended up here! <laughs> you trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I look at a few clubs, it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? 
More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worried so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Reading is fun. The school day is as ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs! Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori! Sayori must have come to the classroom while I was facing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, honestly you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Mini? Sayori's vice pleasure of the literature club. Now that, that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature, in fact, I'm 99% sure she only did because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Sayori really is that much of an errand or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a low sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And that's the day marks the day I sold my sword for Eve. I mean cupcake. <laughs> I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you don't call me a new member! Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature. <laughs> So, how should I voice Yuri, man? I don't, I didn't really feel comfortable with that. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. I'm gonna forget that voice. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you my boy! I'm gonna st I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait until the atmosphere! Ah! Marcy Poo! What a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! Sorry! Natsuki. Hmm! The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori. You can't just- <coughs> Oh no, I'm forgetting the voices already. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says quietly into my ear then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori in Natsuki. Ah oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Marcy Poo. Monica smiles swiftly while turning her head verbosely toward my face. <laughs> we don't know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, and suspiciously not in the choice. Basically, oh, I didn't mean to spoil that. Whoops. <clears throat> but you already know that already. 
basically completely out my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little you too, Monica. Come sit down, Marcy Poo. We made room for you at the table so you can nix nix what? <laughs> so you can sit next to me or Monica. I get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? <laughs> the girls have a few days arranged to form a table. As I already mentioned, it's been widened so that there's no there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki probably marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wow! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you're so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayuri grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayuri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. It's really good. Yum, 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 yum. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe... But not for you, 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 you know, you dummy! Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Okay. Oh no! No! I skip! No! Yuri? Oh, jeez. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Oh my god. Ah, uh, let me check this, check this history. Carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting the tick. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I thought, well, let's save this. Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. Eh, <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Eh, <laughs> that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Marika raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How you decided to join to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, I need to make this post first, but you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And it encourages others to get into literature and then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is a really great leader. Really also nice in agreement. And I'm surprised that aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both there that you're both fun and worthwhile. 
But it makes school events like the test ball that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow, grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all are interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find this tree. Maybe that's why they are so delighted by the idea of the new member joining. I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Marsupu, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering... <laughs> why am I saying that? Why did I say that? How little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I matter quietly to myself half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that be build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on pretty passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you off for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ooh, horror! I read a horror book once. It was <clears throat> Harry Potter. No, just kidding. <laughs> Don't hate me. <laughs> I love Harry Potter, by the way. That's probably the only book I have read. Yeah, the cat is out of the bag. I definitely grasped something I can relate at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having conversation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For some reason, for someone as gentle as you, I guess you, should, you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror! Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for this second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? He left a piece of scrap paper behind the last group meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give it back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are! Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on over her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Oh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's go all home. Uh, let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone's even. Um, yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Marzipu? 
Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of my joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and um... I lost my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sipu. Oh, I'm defenseless against these girls! How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sorry, wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really came for the cafe, I will be super pissed! Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone! I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment! Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Hi, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I think I'd be amateur best. Just kidding, I write comics. <laughs> I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as you and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Maisipu! Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she was always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course... Monica! Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature car? Literature car? Yeah. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer in one of these girls. Alright! I just need to make most of my circumstances. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Alright, well, I'm gonna save here first for now. I know it's just the start and I know it's a slow start, but hey, I'm playing this like how I will always play games. Long and uh, comprehensive. I can't find the words to say. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye!